Well, thanks everybody for coming. Um, it's been a it's been a pleasure to start out with. I want to just say that it's been a pleasure to to uh, work with this group of of men um, th this year, and and for many of them, the ones you see on my left, for the past uh, four or five years, for some um, incredible men, incredible leaders, resilient, um, and they've you know with support of others, they've done a great job in. Uh, in, in earning their way to be here, so um, it, I'm proud to be here with with these with these men, and, and I'm I'm sure that uh, we'll put everything we have on the ice tomorrow. There's a, there's experience in here in the tournament. I think everybody sitting with me has been played in three straight national tournament um, games, so there's uh, there's experience within the group, and that experience filters through. So again, very very proud and uh, honored to to be with this this group of men here. Yeah, I feel like we've um, we always had the belief in the room that we've had it. We just didn't really string together um, enough wins in a row. It was just kind of win loss, win loss. Um, and then we had a bye week, and I think that's when we started um, playing well. We worked on our skills and our team habits, and um, that's kind of when we started um, seeing some wins pile up, and we've kind of been uh, sticking to it ever since. Yeah, they're obviously a great team. Um, a lot of offense. Um, they're number one in the country for a reason. Um, but as is every team in the tournament, they're uh, going to be a tough test. Um, and we feel like we belong here, so we're just going to give them our best shot tomorrow night. Obviously, they're high skilled and can score goals, but we're going to focus on ourselves on the ice and just play our game and come out hard and, and give it our best. Same as these guys said, Boston College is a really good hockey team, but we know that we're good too, and I feel like we are more ready than ever to be here. So, well, Of course, it helps a lot. Uh, I feel like the last two years we've been here, we have been struggling a little bit before, this, like, before the tournament, and this year I feel like we start to heat up like more now than we did the years before. So I feel like we're more ready than ever. Also definitely helps that we won the league the last two years. We, we got beat in the semifinals. So coming in on a, on a high and playing our best hockey is definitely going to help us here. No, I mean, like it, it means a lot for a team. Like it's a lot of different cultures. And like for me, coming from Sweden, it's different from the beginning. And uh, I feel like we have so many different cultures. helps our team, and we build off that. For me, it's just uh, hearing where everyone came from and their families and their towns and the cities that they come from. It's, it's awesome to hear about, and it makes me want to go see them down the line and, and visit with them and see what the, where they grew up. Yeah, I mean, like, it's really excited all the time. Like, when you get, like, get down to a tournament and, like, have the first practice, it's, it feels unreal. And then after, after a few minutes, you feel like you're ready. Like, it's, like, it's the same as every year. It's just a game. Uh, yeah, I got two brothers on the team, um, so yeah, it's been it's been really special. I guess with all three of you. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's been really special um, to be able to bring our talents uh, with the team too to the to the national stage is really awesome, and just hoping we can show what we can do. We we've, we've uh, I think what really helps us is is we we host the GLI every year, and that's a tournament setting. And this year we were able to win that. Um, we we. Uh, beat Alaska, who was ranked at the time in the semis, and then Michigan State in the finals in a, in a shootout. Um, I think that that environment with something on the line is probably the most uh, comparable to what we're doing right now. But uh, I think with the, um, I think what really helped us last week is what we hope helps us tomorrow afternoon is the uh, experience that we've had in being in, in uh, you know, Overcoming, like we, we've now won. You know, we won the July. We won our Winter Carnival. Uh, you know, against a good Mankato team, Winter Carnival weekend, and then uh, so so the guys have put some. You know, when they need to win, we had to win really our last game of the year to get home ice, and then uh, you had to win on through to get to win the championship. So um, I think the guys have uh, have built built confidence in themselves, and I think that's that's more important. I I think Ryland said it in the press conference uh, earlier that the difference between this year and the last couple years, where I thought we played really well against Duluth, like we lost Brian Hallen, an All-American 40-point guy in the first shift of the first game for a hit from behind. They actually changed the rule, the hitting from behind rule from that. I think they call it the Hallen and rule now or something like that. But but we played well in that game. We, we weren't able to score. Um, and, and we got, I think they won 2 nothing, something like that. A really good Duluth team coming off of back-to-back -back national tournaments. We played well in that game. Last year we didn't play so well, but going into that, 
into both those. We were locked into a national tournament bid. I don't even know if we had to win a first round of the playoffs. So some of that intensity, you know, guys start thinking about, you know, what where I can play in a week or two weeks, you know, as soon as the season's done. And our guys ha had to win their way through to, to keep things going. And I think that that's been, I think that's where the guys are feeling a little bit better right now in that uh, we had to win our way in versus that at large um, where you take your foot off the gas a little bit. We had to win. And, uh, and I give our guys full credit for that. It's a great group of young men. I didn't do anything. I think, first of all, I think our staff, we have a young staff, and I think that staff developed really well this year. You know, we have, uh, we, we don't have a coach with more than two years of coaching experience on the staff as far as being actually. So I know me personally, I, I, I really put a, I really put an effort into um, making, helping them be accountable. The, the coaches, like, you know, listen guys, we got, you know, I can't make all the decisions here. We, I need, I need you guys to put put it out on the line a little bit, and we need to talk some things over here within the group um, to come up with some ideas together, and then implement them and give them accountability. Um, so I think the staff did a really good job of growing, and but really, it's the players. I, I think there's a feeling we were picked to win the league, and the reason we were picked to win the league is the vote came out right after. Blake and Logan announced that they were coming back. Now you get you get first team All American goalie coming back, you know, in our within our league. They're like, you know, they, he was the MVP of the league last year. You know, good luck beating them with him in the net. Um, but the reality of it was, we only had 34. Uh, I think the most games by any defenseman on our in our core was 34 games. We didn't have a defenseman within our whole lineup that played a full season. As that defensive core evolved. And some of that came through injury, where other guys had to step in and play. Nick Williams has emerged, as, you know, being a, a tremendous player for us. Um, as our defensive core evolved to get the puck up to our forwards and to protect Blake a little bit, I think that's where things started to really evolve. As our defensive group got more solid, it allowed Blake to settle in a little bit more. And now his numbers are great. You know, he had know, four or five in the second half shutouts in the second half of the year. Four four shutouts in the second half of the year, um, you know. So he ended up putting together a great year again. But a lot of it was was consistency and predictability out of our defensive core. And I, again, I give a ton of credit of that to our to our assistant coaches. Yeah, I, I think our power play is good. Uh, BC's power play is good. Our penalty kill, as our D has evolved, as you know, has gotten much better in the second half. Um, they're one and two, I think, in the country in, in power play and penalty kill. Um, so special teams is a big part of it. Last weekend, you could almost predict that, that because both of our teams, us and ourselves in Bemidji, as a ruler, in the top five in the country annually on fewest penalties, and usually one or two and flip-flopping for most penalties in league play. So you wouldn't expect a lot of special teams there. The, I think their power play came with four and a half minutes left. Um, and our guys did a great job, didn't give up a scoring chance on that. So. If there's a lot of power, if there, you know, special teams, you got to give that advantage on paper right now going into to Boston College for sure. Um, one and two in the country in, spe in, in special teams overall. Well, number one in the country in combined special teams. So, uh, you know, depending on, on the officiating and, and uh, how many penalties they're able to draw on things. I think all things being equal, you know, I, I like our chances, all things being equal. Um, with our goaltending and our, you know, the way our, our guys have been killing lately, and our, the way our power plays been playing lately, um, but I, you know, you have to hope that it's not a special teams game um, going in, because they're the best in the country. So why, you don't want to pour gas on a fire, you know, allow them to do what they do well and gain confidence. Well, first I think. Uh, what we've watched is some, you know, Denver played them earlier, very early in the year, but there's a different game. Uh, the Eastern game and the Western game is a little bit different. Now, Big Ten hockey is is similar to Hockey East in, in talent level, get up and go, we want to score, we want to transition, where the NCHC is more of a, a grinding structure, um, which is how we play, and and so, you know, it might be, it, it, there's a chance that there's a little surprise within that element. Um, 
you know, even when we play Big Ten teams, we have success. You know, I don't, I don't think in my, not no disrespect in any way, but I, how many times have we played Michigan since I've been here five maybe, and we haven't lost to them a single time. Now some of those are in GLI without their, without their big guns when they're at the World Juniors and things, but. Um, We've characteristically done pretty good again, pretty well against a big team. So it might a Big Ten. It might be a little bit, um, you know, we're, we're hoping that our game is more emblematic of when an Eastern team plays a Western team. It's not characteristically the same type of game, with the exception of the Big Ten. The Big Ten and 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 hockey and those teams they play a very similar style of game. They want to score goals by the bunches, which they do. Um, they normally have a really good goaltender, which BC does. Um, we, you know, we have to get to him and create some scoring chances and give him, you know, not let him settle into a game. Um, the, you know, I, I, do, I do will throw out any insinuation that um, the only chance Michigan Tech has against BC is the veteran, that they're more veteran than you know these the the top guns the the big freshman group that BC has because the reality of it is is those those freshmen for for BC have played U18 World Championships World Junior Championships you know those those guys have played high pressure situations so they're you know they're not like a typical freshman um, so I don't think that experience. Experience will help us in staying in the game, but I don't think it's. I don't think there's going to be any BC guys that are going to come out with big eyes and not perform to their best. Thanks for the question, Thank you. Joe. You've done a wonderful job fielding these questions, and you know I'm going to put you on the spot here, though, since you've done such a wonderful job. And everybody knows that you're a former Lake State superstar goalie. Everybody knows you've done a great job in in getting this team to the NCAA tournament for three consecutive years. And people want to know something else about the leadership of these teams that, uh, and what they're, what they're doing. Tell us something about you that we don't see on your bio. First of all, superstar goalie at Lake State is a bit of a stretch. <laughs> I think the biggest, my biggest contribution to Lake State was graduating because the next year, Bruce Hoffert came in and won the national tournament. Was okay. a freshman All-American, played two years, signed a major contract. <laughs> so um, I think that my biggest contribution to that was uh, graduating. Um, but I do remember the last time fam familiarity I have with, with Providence was, I believe, it was the 92 championship, um, Lake State beating Wisconsin here. Final um, for the for Final the championship yeah. game yep. in the spear throwing incident at the end of the game where the sticks were being launched and um, so I, I, there's I, I, there's no secrets about me I just you know I believe in our guys um, we're not going to out coach anybody um, our guys are going to have to outplay people so we'll we'll just trust that that uh, that our guys will do that we're trying to develop people to be accountable and. Um, I think that's kind of the UP way. My hat's a UP hat. Um, handshake is a is a big deal. Um, and I, I, what I want our guys to be able to do is 20 years down the road, down the road, when they look at each other, they meet up someplace, they hear about somebody that they, there's a good thought on them that that person put everything they had into the big moments. And uh, today's a, a big moment for them to earn that respect of their their teammates.